Hi YouTube, it's Gwen. I'm back and I'm coming on quickly. Um, this is my uh, daily routine for my fro. I don't always wear a bonnet, but sometimes I do. It just depends on how I feel. Um, still pretty much the same as before. This is water with some tea tree oil in it. And so then I just spray my smushed fro. And as I said in my previous update video, I don't use combs. So what I do pretty much is just fluff my hair with my hands. And then I just feel for any like knots or tangles and then I just address those. Sometimes I have to cut out knots and tangles. Sometimes I can work them out. Yeah, I do make sure my hair is pretty, it's sprayed well. And today I think I'm going for a side part. This is one way that I wear my hair. I just put a little side part in it and then I work around that. Just try to make sure that it is as straight as possible. Now, sometimes it depends on how I'm feeling. I will use gel to uh, maintain this part. But sometimes I'll just use water like I'm using now. Create the part. And then I will use these big bobby pins to hold it down because the less I buy, the better and easier my life is. Because when you start looking for edge controls, you can really go down a wormhole. There are so many products, but I do have an edge control that I'm going to share um, with you for those times that I am feeling a little extra, extra, but today is not one of those days. And so I just use bobby pins to hold the part. And then the rest of my hair, I just take and fluff out. I take my damp hair, fluff it out. And like I said, I just smooth it and make sure I don't feel any snarls or tangles in my hair. And if I do, I just try to work it out. If I have time, if I feel like it, if I don't, I'll come back later, put a little oil on it, work it out or cut it. If it's just really tangled, I will cut it out. Like it's not, if it's to the point where it cannot be worked out, and then I'll just cut it. I'd rather cut that strand than try to pull through with a comb and kill a thousand strands because that's essentially what happens when I use a comb. One tangle can cost me several, several hairs that, you know, weren't even an issue. But just because I'm using a comb and they got caught in the, in the comb at the same time as those, as that particular tangle. So, yeah, this is pretty much what I do. Go through and smooth my hair out. Like I said, make sure I don't feel any snarls or tangles. I try to make sure my hair is pretty damp wet. Whatever floats your boat. And this bottle I got off of Sheen. And it's kind of going out on me, but I have two others. When I see products or things that I really like... I make sure that I buy at least two so that I can always have a backup. And for some reason, the middle of my head, I've noticed, is like the driest, tightest part of my head. So I got to make sure that I really, that I really get that part. And like I said, I'm really just going through smoothing, feeling for any tangles or snarls and making sure that I grab them and smooth them out. All over my head. And then once I get to this state 
where I've pretty much gone through and smoothed everything out. Everything's pretty smooth. I just go and go back through and pat, pat my hair so that it is more uniform. Now, what you'll see here is this hair. I don't, I don't know why. For some reason, when I was cutting it, I cut it shorter here and longer here. And at the time when it was all short, it didn't really matter. But now this, the sides have grown out way longer. And so it does not stand up as high as it potentially should. But yeah, that that is the, the issue there with that part of my head. And so I just try to make sure it's pretty uniform. Just pat it down. Any shed has, I just wipe on a towel. And that's another thing. This is excellent for getting shed hairs out without snagging my entire head. So, so there, that is the morning routine now. Nice, smooth, soft, and moisturize so yeah that's what i'm doing now i might need to move this bobby pin back soon so you can see my part better yeah and yeah so i kind of play with the bobby pins too to make sure if i'm going for a part you can actually see the part i might have to move it back further so you can actually see it but yeah that's pretty much all I do every morning with my hair. And it's done quickly, effectively, with minimal breakage. So this is the look for today. And like I said, I will show in another video the edge control I do use when I do use edge control. But for today, this is the look. See you in the next video. Bye.